Hi Booktube, Lynette here. Happy New Year to you all. I hope that you saw the new year in um, however you wanted to, other than going out and partying, obviously. Um, I hope you're all doing well in the start of 2021. I'm actually filming this on New Year's Eve, so I have no idea how I saw the new year in myself. Um, it will either be watching TV, reading or sleeping. Sleeping is most likely. Uh, that's how I've seen the last few New Year's. Um, anyway, um, today's video is going to be the books that I plan to read in January. If you have watched my goals tea, uh, video that I put up a few days ago, then you'll know that I'm only setting myself four books a month um, because I'm going to try and aim to read more from the books that I already own and not buy more new books. And I think restricting my TBR to just the four will help me do that um, because I'm only going to set myself um, the in-depth book uh, for the month I'm going to read because I'm going to continue that read along that I did last year where I'm just going to read one in-depth book a month. And I'm going to read my book club pick for the month. That will be the second book. And then the third and fourth book that I'm going to set for myself will be from my TBR uh, that I already own. And I've set myself up a randomizer wheel on my laptop and I'm going to use that wheel to pick two books every month as well. If I get through all four of those books, I'm then allowed to mood read anything else that I want to, to pick. But again, that has to be from the books that I already own, unless the one of the books that I've read in from the TBR is a series book from a series and I really want to continue the series and I'll see how that goes every month I have also decided that the two books for the month are the in-depth book um, if I don't read it I'll carry it forward and I'll read two in the following month which is what I've done a couple of times in 2020 um, but if not the two books that I did not read um, that were on picked from the TBR wheel, they will be carried forward and added to the following month's TBR. So it's in my interest to read all four books that I set myself at the beginning of the month to and allow myself to mood read for the rest of the month. I think this is completely doable for me. Um, like I say, the in-depth book, I really enjoyed reading that series in 2020 and I don't see that actually changing in 2021 because I think it's just there's such a quick read that they really get me going for the month um the book club pick um the pick for January is going to be right up my street because it is um fantasy uh this month instead of um some of the other kind of more literary and style books that Jess has been setting um for 2020 um and she is going to branch out and be a bit more genre specific I think in 2021 um so I know January is going to be right up my street, but the rest of the, the year, it's probably going to be books that push me outside of my comfort zone, which I'm really looking forward to. And is the reason why I joined her book club in the first place, because the books that she reads other than fantasy are not books that I normally read. Um, and I'm looking forward to, to seeing what we get through in 2021. So. The first book that I'm going to be reading this month in January is the In Death read along book. And that book this month is Seduction in Death. I talked about these all through 2020. I probably don't need to tell you very much about them now if you've seen my previous TBRs and wrap ups. But the series follows a New York police and security detective called Eve Dallas and her husband Rourke and her wider found family that she has from the police department and friends otherwise. And every, every book she has a murder or a series of murders that she has to solve um, and also at the same time navigate relationships, um, either be romantic or friendship relationships that she's never really cultivated before because of her background. And I'm really enjoying seeing Eve um, and in, to some extent Rourke grow through their romantic relationship and through the friendships that are being built otherwise um, because um, she's being forced into these situations with them and she's realising that actually she is a human being and she does like people other than herself. 
so i'm looking forward to this one as always and i'm sure it will get me going quite quickly in the month and keep my reading bug going because i've ended 2020 on quite a high the second pick for the month will be the book club pick at the point that i'm filming this because i'm filming this on new year's eve we haven't yet been told what the pick is all we know is that the genre is standalone fantasy the four options we have been given are an enchantment of ravens by margaret rogerson descendant of the crane by joan he spinning silver by naomi novick or the goblin emperor by katherine addison Personally, I voted for The Descendant of the Crane by Joan He. I've heard all about Spinning Silver and An Enchantment of Ravens all over YouTube, BookTube, because they were quite popular books. I hadn't heard about Descendant of the Crane and I hadn't heard about The Goblin Emperor. So I looked those up on Goodreads and I voted for the one that I felt I would be more inclined to read. Looking at the poll, though, at the moment, it does seem that An Enchantment of Ravens is winning. Um, when i'm editing this by the time that i'm editing this because i'll edit it before it goes up uh we should have picked it so i will kind of um cut back in and add in a clip of me um, confirming what the pick will be and what it's about hi um it's now a couple of days later and i'm editing and i just thought i'd come in and tell you what the book is for the just one more page book club for the month of January and this month we have picked An Enchantment of Ravens by Margaret Rogerson. This is, a, I think it's a young adult um, fantasy novel, it's a standalone fantasy novel and it's about yo a young woman, Isabel, who creates paintings for the fairy folk. The fairy folk can't actually do anything creative for themselves um, or it, um, they crumble to dust or it kills them in some way. So they pay lots and lots of money for people in the mortal world to create things for them. And Isabel's paintings are highly desired. She gets a commission to paint for the royal family and she paints Rook, the autumn prince. And she makes the mistake of painting mortal sorrow into his eyes, uh, which is something that could actually get him killed and he spirits her away to the fairy world so that she can stand trial for the crime and it's about what happens after that um they are attacked i think isabel's paintings are magical in some way and they then also have to learn to trust each other and ultimately fall in love which is a forbidden emotion in the fairy world and it's about how they overcome all of those trials and uh, things that are thrown their way i'm very much looking forward to reading this it was very big around youtube um a few years ago now when it came out <clears throat> it came out in 2017 and it was very very popular and i think it was actually really well liked by everybody that i saw reading it so i'm looking forward to picking this up i'll probably do that towards the end of the month closer to our book club meeting um, and I'll let you know in my January wrap up how I got on. So on to the two picks that I'm going to have from my randomizer wheel that I've set up. Um, if you've watched my goals video, then you might have seen um, a clip of the actual wheel doing its thing. Uh, that pick was just a random pick just to illustrate. So Hopefully, I am going to now insert the first clip of the first pick for January. So the first pick is Nevernight by J. Christoph. This is the first book in a trilogy about a young woman called Mia Corvair who after her family is killed because her father started a rebellion against the powers that be, um, she ends up joining a school of assassins and she does this because she wants to take revenge on her father and her family's killers. Um, it sounds as though there is um, a bit of a, a murder mystery going on as well within the school. Mia is obviously, she's learning to become an assassin so there's lots of challenges and tests for her and 
she also is being hunted by a killer herself and she has to try and survive to initiation like i say this is the first book in a trilogy it's quite a well-known trilogy around booktube um and certainly that's the reason why it's on my tbr because it's one of the few books i was influenced to pick up by watching other people's videos so i'm looking forward to finally read getting around to reading it and hopefully enjoying it and removing it from my tbr uh like i say um i did say that in my goals video that if i start a series in the month and i enjoy the first book in the series and immediately want to move on to the second book then i am allowed to do that um but i'll see how that goes and i will update you all at the end of the month in my wrap up so let's move on to the second uh, spin for the month of january it's another series starter uh oh goody uh so this is a blaze of secrets by jesse donovan jesse donovan is a romance author but she writes paranormal slash supernatural slash mainly um dragon shifter romances and this is a romance uh paranormal romance um series it's not one that she's added to for a while um it's she's uh found lots of success with her dragon um shifter novels so she has primarily focused on those especially in the last four or five years so this book's quite a few years old now um but i did go through a stage where i actually just bought up all the books that she'd written um because i wanted to read them because i absolutely love her dragon shifter series this is um the series that this starts off is called the asylum for magical threats and we follow a young woman, Kiara, who has been locked up because of her elemental magic. And she is rescued by a man called Jackson. And it's about how they then fall in love and survive um, the threats that are coming for them um, because of her magic. It's probably going to be a nice, quick, easy read. I've enjoyed everything of Jessie Donovan's that I've um, read. I have actually tried a couple of her other series um previously as well as the dragon shifter novels and i've always enjoyed them um like i say she's just found more success because of her dragon books so she has invested more time in those over the years um but i'm looking forward to to reading this one and and maybe hopefully um giving her a boost um in the ratings for these so those are the four books that i am set for the month of january um two series starters one series continuation a standalone fantasy yeah uh this could be fun i'm not quite sure how that's gonna gonna go um they're all books that i'm actually looking forward to reading so it's not going to be that hard a month for me um to read them i think in the end i think if i can get going with the in-depth book straight away then i'll probably kick start the reading quite quickly um and get on quite quickly and I might leave the book club pick towards nearer the end of the month so that it's fresher in my mind for the Zoom meeting that we have. Um, but if I get through all four of those, like I say, I'm allowed to mood read and pick whatever I want off my TBR. Now, I have, um, in 2018, I started a reread, if I can... I started a reread of the um, Wheel of Time series by Robert Jordan and... I finished uh, book four in late December and I've been wanting to move on to book five so I might pick that one up that is the fires of heaven um, but also I've got dragon haven by Robin Hobb um, bubbling away in the back of my brain as well that is the second book in the Rainwilds chronicles which is the 11th book in the realm of the elderling series um, so I am looking forward to picking one of those up, probably during January. Um, I've also got another series on the go that my nephew lent to me. Um, I might pick that one up. I don't know. I'll see how I feel. I also want to try and finish the Narnia series um, in 2021. So I might pick up the Silver Chair. Uh, like I say... Um, those are the four so those are the four for definite and those are some possible others that i might pick up uh, during the month of january if not i might just spin the wheel again 
um, see what it picks out for me and hopefully I'll have a good reading month. I'll let you all know um, in the in February how I did when I put up my January wrap up. What books are you planning to read in January? Please let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to chat with you all there. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give me a thumbs up. And if you're not already, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. I upload a video on the first and second Monday of every month. And I try to aim to have one on the third Monday as well. Um, so not too many for me to watch. Um, I hope you've all enjoyed the video and I will speak to you all again soon. Bye.